Our legacy has quickly become one of the most exciting brands of the last couple of years. When you think of their brand, you're thinking of like kind of fashion with a twist, but they have two products that in my opinion stand out above them all, and that is going to be the Our Legacy Camion boots as well as the Third Cut Denim. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today we're gonna to talk about the Our Legacy Third Cut Denim. We're gonna talk a little bit about the brand. We're gonna talk about the jeans. We're gonna talk about sizing, what I like, my overall opinions, and then maybe some alternatives. Our Legacy was established in 2005 by three gentlemen. Joachim, Christopher, and Ricardo are the original founders for the brand, and they have been kind of focusing on making fashion stuff with a little bit of a twist. They really want to exist between familiar and irregular. So a lot of their stuff you're gonna see is like classic silhouettes, like straight cut denim, but with like a digital print to it, or difference in color and, and silhouette and texture and things of that nature. I really like their stuff because it falls right in that in between between like kind of unique but also very traditional which is where I feel but let's get into the denim our legacy makes a number of different cuts of denim and they treat it in a very traditional way so you have your first cut denim your second cut denim your third cut denim I believe you have your vast cut and then there's maybe one or two other versions of that but their focus and their main are gonna be their kind of number denims I would say their first and their third are probably their most traditional and gonna be their most used and worn pieces the first cut is gonna be like your traditional straight cut it's gonna be a little bit more skinny and then your third cut is going to be like your relaxed straight cut the ones that I picked up are going to be the third cut denim these are gonna be in the dream blue chain twill there's a few different versions that kind of have this cult following there's the third cut digital print denim as well as a few different versions I tried the digital print denim and it was super super cool but just wasn't hundred percent my vibe I wanted something that was a little bit more men's wary than just like that really cool cut maybe down the road I, it'll be something that I'll get but I didn't want to spend that that kind of money on something that I just wasn't in love with and I hadn't really figured out my sizing at the time as well the reason why I went with these is they're like a traditional like stone wash looking denim the blue dream is gonna be like the lighter version of their stone wash and they're just like really classic I mean if you were to buy vintage Levi's this is kind of like a similar vibe to that as well the thing that really kind of put me over the edge as far as the denim was this chain twill and it's hard to explain I wasn't really able to find anything on the website that explained exactly what it is and then these are like a chain twill so it almost feels like they're taking like a chain stitch and that twill and putting it together and it really gives you this really like heavily textured beautiful cut denim that is not quite the same kind of feel that you would get from like a traditional denim but also not the same feel that you would get from a traditional twill if you look at it like every piece has got like a little bit of a fade into it and it's like almost like these little squares that are brought up I absolutely love these jeans they're hundred percent cotton an Italian fabric and they're just absolutely beautiful as far as sizing goes this is the thing that kind of threw me off the most I'm glad that I was able to try them on in person because I would have bought in the wrong size this is important especially with our legacy stuff is to understand your measurements and they do a really good job on the website I traditionally wear between a 33 and a 34 and all Japanese denim these are a 31 and I could have honestly pretty much gone down to a 30 if I were to buy another pair which I hope to do in the next near future I will probably get a 30 these run huge and it's not huge in the fact that you know because they're baggy they're just naturally big it's the waist is big like I am NOT a thin guy I am 5'8 180 pounds so like I'm not necessarily like tall but I'm definitely not skinny either I would have definitely gone with a smaller size they're not super long if you buy raw denim they'll always do like traditionally like a 34 or 32 length and the reason why they do that is so you can hem to the size that you need this is definitely gonna be I think these are like a 30 length at a 31 and if I were to buy the 30 they would have been like a 29 and a half so if you're really really tall and really really thin these are gonna feel probably a little bit more cropped so definitely something to think about when buying the jeans because the sizing is different than what I'm used to with certain jeans. I don't wear a lot of like designer-esque jeans, but definitely something that you should be aware of and you should definitely make sure that you're checking your measurements before. 
So let's get into the things that I really like about the pant. First things first is obviously the cut. I love the fact that it's got like this wider straight cut. These are probably a little longer than I'd wanna go with, but I can go and have them hem, so that'll be something that's pretty easily done. How they're like baggy without feeling over the top like loose. Good example is like I put them on and I don't walk on them, so they stop at my shoes, so I don't have to worry about tearing the bottom of them. So that's a good example of kind of what I mean about straight, but not like over sized and then I love the color I have been looking for a pair of like light wash jeans I don't want like vintage like super super light my raw denim is obviously very much indigo and has like really crazy contrast this doesn't have that like insane contrast which is something that has been important to me because I want to have like dark denim like mid-weight denim or mid-color denim and then like really light denim for different seasons and just depending on how I feel. And this is a perfect thing for that. And then obviously a thing that I absolutely love is the texture of it. Again, it's hard to explain what I mean by the texture. You'll have to like kind of see it in the pictures and get an idea of it that way. It's kind of like a chain stitch, but it's also a denim feel. It's, it's really weird. And I think that's the exact idea that our legacy wanted. They wanted something that was not just traditional. When they did the digital print, they wanted something that was a bit more fun. It looked like a thrash pair of jeans. And with this, they were like, all right, well, if we're gonna do a blue jean, let's make it a little bit more fun. And I think they hit it out of the park with this. And then another thing is this patch. The patch on it is so cool. It's just like this clear iridescent patch, but again, it adds another pop. When you get into like this level of clothing and just like in heritage clothing, it's little details that make the biggest change. And this is definitely something that they had done for that. In regards to things that I don't love about it, I mean, they are expensive. For over $400, they are a lot of money. And I will say that if there's something that you're not fully invested in, it's not something that you wanna just like take the risk on. Like with the sizing, know your sizing, know your your fit and everything like that. 400 ish dollars is a lot of money to spend on a pair of jeans, especially somebody like me who's come from like the denim world. I know that I can get really, really, really good denim for like, two thirds of that and that could still buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or something like that. So definitely something to think about. If you're not fully invested, then there are some really great alternatives that I'll get to a little later. Overall, really, really cool denim and um, definitely worth it in my opinion. Now let's talk about my overall thoughts and then some decent alternatives if you are looking to get something similar but you're not ready for that initial purchase. They're a jean that like I put on and I get excited for every time and they're a good alternative to something that I already have. Like if I have the raw cut, the raw denim that, you know, my Levi's or my sugar canes or something like that, like you can only have so many different versions of like blue jeans, blue like raw denim from a personal level. I understand there's left hand twill, right hand twill, all these different types of like fabrics and fade qualities and things of that nature. I don't need to have 12 pairs of jeans that are heavily faded. I want different textures for different feelings and different vibes and everything like that. And I live in Chicago. I don't wanna wear like heavy, heavy raw denim in like the middle of the summer. Like it gets higher, like I don't wanna do that. And I don't wanna wear super light wash jeans in the middle of the winter, like different things for different vibes. So. So this has been an amazing alternative to kind of my raw denim. I like the fact that it's got a wider feel. I love the fact that it's got more of a relaxed fit. It is super comfortable and then the texture behind it is awesome. But let's get into alternatives. Some good alternatives for me. I really like the 316 RS denim. I don't quite have the money to buy them right now, but that's definitely on the top of my list as far as pieces to buy. The RS denim is going to be equally as relaxed and kind of a straight cut, maybe a smidge thinner or, or tighter, which is gonna be nice if you're not into like overly, overly baggy feels. And that's gonna be more of a raw cut denim. I know they're thinking about doing different versions in the future too, so something to think about. But if you're like a heritage guy and you're like, I want wide cut denim, but I don't want this light wash, yada, 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 I wanna put the work in, the RS line is a great version for that. Like I said, I'm wearing a 30 in the Hour Legacy or a 31 depending on like how it feels. I would do a 33 in those and they would fit me perfectly. So those are $285, I believe, $285, $295. So that is still a huge amount of money to spend on a pair of jeans. So I get it if that's not where you wanna be as well. If you're looking for something that you're like, you know what, I really want a pair of Hour Legacy jeans, but I gotta pay rent or I've got student loans that I gotta deal with, or you know what, I just not in the, not in the position to spend that kind of money. I went to the Levi's store and had an amazing experience there and I tried on the 568s and those fit 
pretty accurate to what they were. And the cool thing about them is they do like a darker wash and they do a super light wash. So something to try on. I went with a 33 in those. I probably could have done a 32 and they would have fit better depending on how you want. Like the 33 fit on my waist, but maybe were a little bit looser than what I like. The 32 would have probably fit me a little bit more snug, but like how I, how I prefer. And those are gonna be like under a hundred bucks. If you're in Chicago, you can go to the store and try them on. I believe the 569s are gonna be slightly wider than that as well if you're looking for more of a wider cut. But that's gonna be under a hundred bucks. You really can't go wrong with those as far as pricing and sizing goes. And they're gonna give you say eight tenths of the feel. You're not gonna get the same level of textures or designs and made in Italy and things of that nature. However, you're gonna get a lot of what you feel. And as you're, if, if you're trying and you want an alternative just to try out for the couple months before you pull the trigger, you can't go wrong with that. And I think you'll be extremely happy. But that's all I have to say about the Our Legacy third cut denim. Let me know what you think or what your thoughts are on the denim and uh, whether you'd buy them or not. But thank you for coming everyone. We'll chat soon. Goodbye.